All right, time to catch up with the Clinton Public Library. They were just talking about reading right there, Kate. Do you do a lot of reading? Yes, I do typically. I haven't the last few months. I'm kind of in a reading rut, but typically I do read a lot. I, I try to, especially so I can talk to patrons who come in about what I'm reading and try to relate to what they're reading, perhaps. Visiting with Kate and Kendra from the Clinton Public Library. Kendra, do you get that sometimes? People will say, can you recommend a book for me? Yeah, and I feel really bad because <laughs> when I'm working the main floor for adults and adults ask me, like, for reading recommendations. I don't read a lot of adult books <laughs> because I work up in children's, so I read a lot of children's and young adult books. Um, I'll read an, uh, an adult book here and there, but it does get a little bit more complicated when people ask me. <laughs> Kate, what are we talking about today? Well, we have a lot of events in May. Um, at our Lions Branch and Main Branch. Um, so if you're looking for something to do, the library is a good place to go to find something fun. Uh, so today we're actually doing a program called Mindfulness Tuesdays. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So uh, we have organized uh, a few activities for seniors to participate in just for fun. So today from three to four at the Lions Branch, we are going to play some cards or try to complete a little jigsaw puzzle together. So that should be fun. Uh, and then tomorrow we're doing device advice where people can come in and ask questions about uh, technology and we can give them one-on-one -on -one help. So that's tomorrow from 3 to 4 at Lions. And then uh, tomorrow uh, at the main branch, we're doing a, a collaborative event with Clinton Community College to inform people about their uh, HISA and English language acquisition program. So the HISA is like the GED, um, but I believe the accreditation is a bit different. So it's accepted in the state of Iowa. I think that kind of varies between then, but people can stop in tomorrow from five to seven to learn more about those programs. It's going to be really casual and they can even get some free pizza too if they come. So we're really hoping to see people come to that too. Okay, now, let's go back to a couple of those items. Uh, talk about the importance of staying mentally aware, especially mm -hmm. as you get a little bit older, like myself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that increasingly we all are becoming aware of just how important mental health is and mindfulness particularly, like just being aware of how we're feeling or, you know, trying to engage with others. That's a really good way of being mindful. So we hope that these you know collaborative events or activities are fun and take away from maybe the everyday stresses that we encounter so yeah okay so now like what i am doing here when i have to move commercials around and try and make things <laughs> fit into a certain time is that benefiting me at all kate i i don't know i Kendra, think that it would be uh you know s strengthening yeah your ability to i don't know be aware of what things are happening what do you think Kendra? You is think, that benefiting Kendra? me i don't know do you find it stressful no i don't find it stressful i find it you know like a challenge like a puzzle kind of yeah. like a puzzle that's probably really good for i was always really good yeah. at puzzles that had like six or eight pieces I was, <laughs> I was very very good at those now and, and you work with the the people who have questions on their devices, right, Kate? Yes, I often do. So what are some of the questions you get there? I would imagine they're varied. Yeah, yeah, it really just depends. Sometimes people will come in, every, like, each week and have similar questions. For example, how do I send pictures to my kids on my phones? Or how do I access Libby, which is an app where people can listen to audiobooks or read eBooks? Uh, so it, it really varies. Typically, uh, lately, it's been about Libby. Um, we've gotten a lot of questions about that. Do you see the same people coming in mm -hmm. with a different question when they come in the next time? Yes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. And we do encourage that because, you know, as as we learn anything new, including technology, more questions will arise. So we do see uh, sometimes the same people. Uh, but again, it just, it really depends on people's schedules and what they have time for in the day. See, my big concern is whenever I do anything like that is I'm like, oh my gosh, there's somebody out there who's finding out more about me than I mm. want them to know. Is that mm. a big concern? Yeah, I, 
Yeah, that has been expressed to me. A lot of people ask, like, what information on my phone is available to others and how can I prevent uh, that from coming in? So I kind of just give them simple recommendations. I'm not an expert in that realm and I'm fully transparent on that. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We I try to caution them to, you know, think twice about what you're doing and who can have access to it. Again, visiting with Kate and Kendra, you got anything else there for us, Kate? No, I think that pretty much sums it up. Okay, very good. Now, Kendra, as you pointed out, you work primarily with the children. Yes. The school year is coming to a close. What does the summer look like for you? Oh, boy. Um, so the summer is looking a little crazy because we are still without our lower level because of renovations um, and trying to find the right contractor and the right time to get work done. But we are ramping up for summer reading uh, we're going to be using the beanstack app again so if people really liked using that last year we'll have that for all ages kate worked tirelessly on making an adult summer reading program mm -hmm. as well and we will still have um, paper logs available for people um, if they don't want to use the app you know and for the children you know over the summer months it's so important to stay engaged with reading and other activities like that so you don't have that slide before the school year starts yep summer slide is a tricky tricky little thing mm -hmm. and just reading 20 minutes a day um, for anyone that's currently learning um, it helps prevent that summer slide which a lot of teachers have to spend the first month of school reviewing the previous year so keeping our children up to date on their reading helps with all avenues of school, not just literature, English, but it helps with their math, science learning. It just keeps their brains engaged and ready to learn. How is your uh, education coming along? Commencement is this Friday. Is it really? It is. So is that for your master's? It is for my master's. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. So what are you going to be able to do with that? Uh, I don't know. The world's my <laughs> oyster. Um, <laughs> so typically people get their master's in library science if they um, want to work higher up in libraries. So um, eventually some more administrative work is in my future, but I've got lots of learning to help with uh, my current position at the library. So, What about you, Kate? Are you doing any further education or what's going on with you? No, I'm not doing any further education. I mean, I am currently take Iowa Learns courses, so that's the equivalent of what the State Library offers to learn more about library services and how to better work with the public at large, but I don't have any higher, like, advanced degree plans as of now. Okay. Before we let you both go, and again, thank you for coming in. We'll catch up with the library in a couple of more weeks. How can people find out more information about what's taking place at our Clinton and Lyons Public Libraries? Yes, so you can visit our website. Again, we have a great new calendar that you'll be able to register for events. So that's www.clintonpubliclibrary.us, and you can find us on Instagram and Facebook by searching Clinton Public Library Iowa or IACPL. Thank you both for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you. And now, the, the, the Dan Patrick Show. Dan Patrick. <laughs>